So I was unloading her and I just found this dog. Hi, baby. Well, never a dull day at the farm. It's a dog party in bed. Good morning, everyone. Say good morning, Tyla. That's her way of saying good morning. I am taking you guys along my whole day. You guys have asked what do I do and what my life is like. Uh, every morning I wake up around seven in the morning with these two, Delilah and Benelli, who's begging for my food as if it's gonna fall on the counter. They already ate their breakfast. I took them on a walk. It's about 7.30 here now. Now after, since I've just got done making my coffee and all that fun stuff, I'm going to get dressed and then head to the farm because we all know I don't live at the farm. I live about 20 minutes away from there. So let's get this day started. And you guys are able to come along and see what my life is like. Good morning, Dee. Say every morning I go out on the patio and I bark at the neighbors. But Nellie begs for my breakfast. And sometimes Delilah actually reaches it. So she'll probably push it back and she'll steal my breakfast and share it with Benelli sometimes. And going back out to the patio, we're following mommy to get dressed. Come on now. Benelli swears that the food's gonna fall for her, look. As if a ghost is magically gonna push the food down and she's gonna be able to eat it. Come on now. 20 minutes later, still trying to get my sandwich. No Benelli, it has ham in it. Now they're both biting. Great. I just got in the car. I had to literally move all these bags of green and cat food from that vehicle to this vehicle and load all of this stuff in here into this vehicle from that vehicle. So that took me a little bit. And it is freezing here. I know you guys are gonna say it's not that cold, but in Florida, we're not used to this weather. It's 41 degrees here, but let's go to the farm. This is my favorite part, getting stuck behind tractors. This is like the mile road the six mile road to the farm. There's a little bunny walking into the gate. I have to open the gate to pull the truck in. Ooh, the sun's so bright. But we're here at the farm. I'm going to unload all the stuff I have in the truck. The first part of my day, even though I just unloaded my last vehicle, I have to reload, unload this one. Oh my gosh, guys, look. A little baby bunny is hiding behind this bush. Let me see if I can catch it. For all the Tater fans, there's Tater Bunny. Look at this little black baby, how cute. I wanna try to capture it. Oh, no way, it's way too fast. But I know everyone loves, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, how adorable. For all the Tater fans, everyone that loves the Tater Bunny, he's right there. There's BP and Oreo, and then look, how cute is that though? Oh. Tater's definitely like the king of all the bunnies. He bosses everyone around. And then we have some new babies down here. Let's see, there's the mama. I actually did put a bunny in a stall last night because she looked a little sad, which I'm probably gonna end up taking her home. She's actually super sweet. I just felt like she wasn't getting enough attention. Hi, baby, look how sweet she is. Remember how I told you guys the jobs never end? Well, this water line, hose snapped. I would turn it on, but I would get sprayed with water and I don't wanna be wet all day. So I have to redo this. The crack is like right here, but if I was to turn it on, it would literally go all over me. So I have to replace this water line. I mean, obviously you guys can see I've replaced it plenty of times and done kind of a lazy job. So I'm going to fix it the right way today. But first I have to turn the well off so the water doesn't go everywhere when I snip the line so the well is up here in this pasture and to turn it off you're gonna go like this it's off so what i'm gonna do is snip it down here i hope i don't get super high water on me cool what i just realized is that i could save this piece so I'm going to make it like this. I thought this little twisty thing was cool. I mean, I could do it short, but I'm gonna make it a longer one. So I need a coupling. Just right here. This one will work. I hate this glue, it gets everywhere. And it sucks when it gets on you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
cup like this. Try not to get it on you because it sucks. Getting it off. One part done. I like to use a lot of glue so it stays. If you all can't tell. Okay, cool, great. And what I need to do is now cut another PVC pipe up here to adapt to this part. I'm like the messiest worker ever when it comes to doing this stuff. At least I try. I measure that to like here. So we'll go ahead and do this part first. Oh, and get more glue all over me. Why, Katrina? Why are you so messy when you do this stuff? It never fails. I'm literally always covered in this stuff. But acetone takes it off, so. We can go like this. Whoop. Okay. Cool. But guys, check out this water line compared to the new one. I would say it looks pretty good. What I have to do still is take my drill and then just click it on here so the horses don't play with it because the horses love to break these apparently. Especially during the winter time, the pipes freeze all the time. And look, Sam's probably on his way over here to mess it up. So I do do pretty much all the water line fixes on the farm. I actually was here digging all the water lines with the guys that dug them here so I can learn how to do it if we ever did have a break because that's part of owning a farm. Shut the front door. Did I not fix it properly? I was like, tell me I didn't, tell me I fixed it right. And I realized it was coming from here. So I did, whoop, whoop. good job, Katrina. Go, water line girl. Tilly decided to join me and keep me company. But I'm jumping over. Oh my gosh, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, so I can fill this water drop up and the water line is fixed. Me and Jackie were just talking about it. There are so many bunnies here at the farm. I literally just like came over here and walked under the pergola and there's like 20 babies. Like there are so many bunnies. We literally had like no bunnies like three months ago. And today we have a zillion. Look at little Bam running around. He's so cute. Literally just look at him. He's been like scratching himself. He's so funny. Oh my gosh, Bam. Your personality boy is hilarious. Jackie goes, I'm really starting to like these shavings, but every time this drips, where does it drop? It drops, see, it's like in the cracks. And what does it do? It drops. Oh my God, it just dropped my forehead. See? <laughs> You're in the right spot. <laughs> oh. So, so far I've fixed water lines, unloaded horse grain, gave a cat medicine, which I didn't record. Um, now I have to deworm all the horses, go pick up horse hay, do a couple more things, drill in some boards that the horses broke. But my day has been already kind of long and I still, it's only 10 o'clock, so I have a lot more stuff to do. So hang tight and let's go. Go Jackie, dance. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> all right, now that I have all my errands at the farm done, I am running to go get horse hay for the horses. I have to get peanut hay and Tifton hay for in the barn, which are bales that we give in the stalls at nighttime when the horses are turned in or when the horses are turned in during the day. So let's go to Circle H. Check it out. I have to unload all this hay by myself. It's 12 bales. We feed Tifton and Peanut hay here. They each, the horses that are in the stalls get a flake of each. It's gonna be fun. So I was unloading her and I just found this dog. Hi, mama. You friendly? Come here. There's two of them. Come here, guys. Do you got a collar? Come on. Here, let's grow open dock saw. Let's find, open the dock saw. Let's put them in there. Come on, mama. Come here. Hi, baby. Well, never a dull day at the farm. This one has a collar. Come on, baby, come in here. Come on. Come on, let's give him some water. You all want some water? Well, as you guys can see, while I was unloading hay, two dogs were at the farm. I don't know who they are, 
but we're gonna keep them here in the stall till we find the owners and make sure they go back home, right guys? Cause they look well fed. One has a collar, but no tag. So I'll go to like the local Gainesville Pet Finder and um, try to find where their owners are. Well, while we look for the owners for these puppies, I'm gonna go back to doing the hay, but they're in a stall right now and they're gonna be fine. And we're gonna find your guys' homes, okay? Your food and water though, all right? All right, sweetie. Well, now that I'm done unloading hay and just found two dogs, I am hanging out here. I just posted the dogs on like the local Gainesville Pet Finder and Gainesville word of mouth. So hopefully their owners come back and I'm just hanging out here right now until I can catch my breath and then I have to go run some more errands. So it never ends, never ends. I'm my handsome, I'm my handsome. Are you still mad at me for deworming you today? Yeah, maybe not. Did you see the dogs? Did you guys see the dogs? What were they doing? What were they doing, Bammy? Ew, you literally just dropped like snot on my hand, gross. Hi, babies. <laughs> Farm errands never stop. I'm making Jackie come with me to go get J-Bangs <laughs> up in Lake City, which is an hour drive. The reason why I go up there to get shavings is because it saves a lot of money and I don't want this guy to waste his wood shavings. So I go and pick them up once a month and we are headed that way now. Remembered, well Jackie reminded me that I have to run in and grab garbage bags from Home Depot because that is one thing I do bring for the guy so he doesn't have to buy because he's already giving me shavings. So I'm in here at Home Depot looking for garbage bags. And where are they? We're in action. Lake City, we're coming for you. Farm stuff never ends. Hold up here. And I was like, Jackie, just move the truck if someone comes and yells at you because I'll be two seconds. Uh oh. All right. Garbage bags are ready. Get all these shavings. I don't have to gonna go in the truck. Got all the bags loaded up with shavings. My little Jackson. You did a good job loading them up. I did. <laughs> so Jackie's recording us. Jackie, say hi. Hi. We got the shavings loaded up. Oh God, Jackie, terrible angle. Wait, what? <laughs> this way. <laughs> okay, Jackie, if you pull it like it, like, look. Look at it. <laughs> I want that double chin up in there. Okay, so we got the shavings loaded. We're driving back. And we just stopped to get some snacks because we were starving, right? Yep. What'd you get? I got mm, a $6 cheeseburger. I go, Jackie, you can get that from McDonald's for like a dollar. <laughs> it's really good though. The button's a little hard, but it's good. <laughs> I got two Red Bulls and I already ate. I got like this like buffalo chicken thing. Buffalo but we're headed to the farm. I'm making Jackie run some errands with me because yeah. I love her company. But let's go to the farm now to unload the shavings. And then what are we doing? And then we're gonna paint. Paint it. Paint and it then we're gonna ride. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up, subscribe. <laughs> no, subscribe, thumbs up. Well guys, all the shavings are here. You guys can tell we are running low on them. We do buy bags of shavings as well as we pick them up. So I'm just gonna go and unload the shavings and start putting them here. I hope you all enjoyed part one of my video because there are two parts to this video and I have so much more left to do at the farm. Look out for the second one because like I said, we have so much to do and there's money as always. They're everywhere on this farm. 
but you guys stay tuned for it.